but the studies explore the root cause of let's get up a little farther here. Uh, it explores the root cause of troubles in the life and how precious stones can help eliminate the problems that are about tuning the higher frequencies of invisible and non-seeing forces, as well as the sacred seven gates of life, commonly known as the seven double letters. These seven letters, these great seven letters, they have an essence about them that is so wonderful that it is amazing that we have not dealt with them in such a realm. Now, I think what happened is, it's commonly, and this is supposed to be as, commonly as, not is, that's uh, cooked on phonics there. But um, in this understanding where we are, I was getting to write, because I don't know if you see it, where this one part, I don't know, you can't see it on this wall, but this is in a bold print. And I did this, so I might have to capitalize that. Let us start by understanding that the events that take place uh, without a reaction response to the circumstance that we face in our lives as we get in touch with the deeper consciousness of <coughs> our response to the same circumstances, et cetera, et cetera, because of conditioning and spiritual harmony. But the resistance that keep accumulating over these periods of our life and life issues, these things that happen in the periods of our life, which travel without our astral body get stored, and I left this here so that you will see, and I'm going to have to capitalize that because I want you to see that we're talking about the chakra systems, not just seven energy points or spiritual centers, but the chakra systems. And the chakra systems in itself, these chakra systems lower our vibration and the patterns in which we start to fall out of spiritual harmony. This is where we begin to disconnect because we are now in a de-grounding and a de-energizing of what you call, and I'll give you in this chart here, where it said that it's called your blue electric body. Your blue electric body, and which they call in the Bible, your silver core. It's part of it, the main part. This blue electric body is the vibration <coughs> that connects to you and give you spiritual harmony as well, physical well-being, etc. The, the inability to receive the spiritual energies negatively impact your, my life, by the ways of clouding our soul or blocking our soul and disrupting our connection to spiritual harm. <coughs> this blocking <coughs> is where you depend on things where you think because you say, hey, I got to feel, see, and touch. But a lot of these things that disturb you when you got pneumonia, you get the, the bad effects of it. But before it happens, did you feel a touch? It? So the thing is, these things, just because you feel a touch, it, don't mean that necessarily they are not part of your structure and your system. So the thing is, is that what is it? What is it that is a spiritual harmony? What is it that connects you to an individual for a lifetime, whether you're with them or not? What connects you to your children, what you call love? And how do you describe love? You spell it L-O-V-E-L-U-V, depends on what you deal with. And some people have different variables and dimensions of what love is. But yet they use that paradigm as far as saying, this is what it is in the ultimate sense of being. It is not. Now. In the understanding of what this is, this spiritual harmony, this is the basic cause behind our wrong choices and repetitive troublesome patterns, bad habits, why we're connected to certain individuals who beat on us, who mistreat us, who abuse us. And we say, the only reason I put up with this is because I love him or her. But there's no balance and harmony in the love that you're giving and receiving. The only reason that I'm in this and not in the church is because I, I see and feel something. But is there a balance and harmony in your understanding of your concept that you're reaching out to? Does it help you? The things and what we're getting ready to do in these next weeks are so 
that they are to under, give you an understanding and to help you. If they can't help you, then why are you in the ancient? Because a lot of the things in which we're teaching and what I deal with, I try not to re be repetitive, but at the same time, I want to keep on going so that you'll be able to connect. The thing is that one of the major factors that we have to deal with is if you don't know the seven or don't know the 22, keep the chart next to you and connect to the spirit. Those who have problems even with the name Ahaya, don't worry about it. I don't. And as Morpheus, what's the name, Morpheus? And uh, what's the name of that movie? Major, I don't need you to confirm my spirit walk. I got it. I'm cool. So if you don't have your spirit connection and harmony with Aya, cool. That's between you and Aya. But the harmony and how it connects to you and helps you, you'll begin to see in your travel how it will bring you to a better understanding, embrace of life, health and well-being and spiritual balance, as is stated in Proverbs 4, verse 20 to 22. Now, the astrological birth, this has caused our people so much problems. Now, what it does, it emanates a similar harmonic frequency. Let me erase that. And this similar harmonic frequency is where people have based their lives on. And in basing their lives on this similar harmonic frequency, they have begun to misunderstand in totality the harmonic walk that is both physical and spiritual and mental. They share a misrepresentation of self and the giving of something that is not connected but only to their understanding. And they disguise it and say, this is the love of God, Yahweh, Jesus, Yahweh, uh, Yeshua, etc. It is not. One of the factors is because it does this. And it does this because it's based upon astrological. And the astrological system has been changed. And in the changing of this, as I explained before, where we have a, uh, my uh, friend came through and uh, Brother Marcus that I met in um, Hollywood. This is what he has. And this clock is what he took in Abhi Abba Prague? Yes, sir. No, mm -hmm. cool. Now, this is a beautiful clock. And the 13th zone is right here. And as you see, what it represents. But in the 13th, it also has 7. Okay. Now, without going knee deep in what I'm doing, let me explain this. We are in the process of understanding who and what a Wamaha is. And we know that there is one scripture that is hidden in the Bible that is there. As it is in the Bible in the beginning of the so-called book, in the first book called Genesis, the genealogy of Isis, they talk about when the world was as one, but then it was separated and they called this P-E-L-E-G, leg. And it's that much of a, and that's it. But see, the world was one land mass at one time. Understand this. And then it was divided and separated into seven land masses. The reason that it was divided into seven land masses is because there are seven people of Ayah. There is one little scripture, like it said, and they call it Pele. And it says, Aya only has seven tribes or houses or people. 
depending on your translation. 